Good morning. It is uh, Wednesday, the 7th of November. We are on the hoof today, so we are not uh, surrounded by the luxury of the office. And this is because we've had a couple of early morning meetings. Later today, um, I will be meeting with Kate Bright um, and Rachel Quayle of Umbra International and Quayle & Co, respectively. So they work quite closely with private offices, um, high net worth individuals. And they also, Kate's particularly involved in close personal security. Fascinating ladies who um, I'm going to be sitting down and talking to about uh, the work the Prime Cap can do with them. Now, for the Prime Cap daily today, Today, hopefully you would have seen um, the midterm election results in the United States. The, um, the House has gone to the Democrats. The Senate remains under the control of the Republicans. So what this means is that President Trump will still be able to get through his um, judicial appointments. So he'll still have a majority potentially to get through certain um, uh, official seats that he presents to the Senate. But with regards to the legislative agenda and with regards to things like his um, um, ability to shirk revealing his uh, tax returns, he may be in for a wee bit of trouble. There is a suggestion, however, that uh, uh, Mr. Trump will be uh, blaming the Democrats for any further or future recession that the US uh, falls into. Um, as we talk to you, the rate of exchange sterling to US dollar is at 1.31 and above, which is a welcome um, improvement for those importing. This means that someone importing product from China has just had um, a discount, cent and a half knocked off their costs. 1.1460, so 1.1460 is where the euro sits against uh, the pound. That also is a welcome relief for those importing. We have a number of clients who are completing on property purchases in the coming weeks. Now, unfortunately for them, because they did not hedge, and I'm thinking of three individuals, you know who you are, because they did not take out a forward contract, they too have suffered the increase in cost that comes with an improvement in the value of the pound. We'll be back tomorrow dissecting a hell of a lot more than we are able to today. Thank you very much. We'll probably let you know what the interior of the NED is like, because that's where we're meeting Kate and Rachel. Do Google them, Quail & Co and Umbra International. And we've got the Prime Cap data centre open with our live graphs and charts. Um, there, there's what telling us what sterling and euro, sterling and US dollar, euro, US dollar and a variety of other currencies are doing in real time. Give it a look. Thank you.